Hello guys, happy Monday. I just got home from the Walimar and I found my baby outside on the stoop. Well, the walkway, the front, the front. He forgot his key, my poor thing. Thankfully, I was already on the way home and he didn't have to be out there too long because he woke up feeling not so good. He has a headache. There's definitely something in the air because my sister's all jacked up. I had a headache all last night. Woke up with a headache this morning. Little dude woke up with a headache this morning. My big dude is going through boxes of tissues like nobody's business. So I think this 100 plus weather done created something in the air, but I felt bad because he's sitting there and... uh in the heat and the first thing out of his mouth was i'm not hot and the reason he says that is okay i'm in texas okay i need to know if this is a united states thing a boy thing a texas thing so mothers of teenage boys okay do your boys insist on wearing long sleeves hoodies flannels sweatpants in the summer dead center summer i know it's a thing here our kids it's been 109 110 111 even and our kids are going to school in hoodies and you know the the zipper jackets and the pullovers and sweatpants it's it's crazy i'm like ugh. but then i don't remember feeling the cold when i was younger like he says mom i don't feel the heat and it kind of makes sense i guess because I remember when I was a teenager, I used to be at the bus stop in shorts, okay? Shorts and cute little sandals and a sweater. Make that make sense. So I know it's because we were younger and we didn't feel the elements, I guess, but it's just crazy to me. I worry about heat stroke. But anyway, uh, his headache did go away. Uh, we're gonna have to be a little more vigilant in uh, getting ready. For Mondays get back in the swing of things because we didn't connect his laptop his notebook we didn't connect his notebook and it died uh, mid mid school day uh, he forgot his key yeah we're, we're still I guess trying to get into the swing of things but it might also have been because we were out in the streets yesterday we were out in the streets all weekend actually and we did the thrifting thing we hit all of our favorite thrifty spots we went to the bins and got stuff everywhere we went just because I hadn't really been like that. Uh, Y'all know I've been at the Black Friday and all that, but I hadn't really been thrifting like I was used to thrifting. And we just said, the heck with it. Let's go see what they have. And we found stuff everywhere. The last few times we went to the bins, really, really sucked. Uh, but this time, it was good. It was pretty okay. So let me hush and get into this goodness. Let me take a sippy. Hijole. Let's take a sippy sippy. Oh, you guys, okay, check this out. This propel is courtesy of yet another absent-minded American uh, at the grocery store a couple days ago. I'm loading up my groceries and I go push cart back and there's a cart there with a thing of propels in it. I think there's 12, I don't, I don't know how many on there. Thing of propels in there and i'm kind of like oh my gosh somebody freaking left their drinks in the basket and i'm looking around looking around see if anybody's getting into their car looking around looking around to see if anybody's in their car i'm like maybe i can wave them down like hey you forgot something or did you forget something crickets there was nobody in the parking lot except me so i took them it's not stealing right is it i don't know i call it a happy surprise that's not the first time that's happened I've gotten toilet paper and paper towels at Target and Walmart. People just forget them. Uh, there was even a birthday cake in a grocery cart once. And I hoped they came back for that. I wasn't going to take nobody's birthday cake. But how do you leave a whole birthday cake? Like, it wasn't, like, just a cake, like, from Walmart. It was decorated. Like, maybe it was just basic handwriting on it. I don't know. But there was writing on it. I remember that. I remember that birthday cake left in a grocery cart. It wasn't in the heat, though. But, yeah, anyway, I say all that to say that these are delicious. Okay, I didn't know. It's a Gatorade thing from the makers of Gatorade. And I like Gatorade. I prefer Powerade, but I like Gatorade. This is grape. So good. And usually these kind of drinks have that kind of saccharine, whatever taste. No, these are really good. Zero sugar. Electrolytes. Propel. 
yummy. But anywho, um, yeah, let's get into the goodness of it all. I'm going to start off with whatever's closest. Bins. The bins is closest. <laughs> so let me show y'all footage first and then I'll show you what I got. Look at this funny little lamp. It has little birds perched, but what I loved was the shade. I love the shape of the shade. collect these. I don't have anything this small. It's missing the chain. It's cute though. Oh, this is so pretty. It gives me flapper vibes. Do I want this? Look at this big old object, the art. I can remember these perched on top of them big old box TVs in the 80s. Oh, the neck is broke. Does anybody use hot rollers anymore? Ooh, a camera. The last few cameras that I have found here turned out really, really good. I just charge them and they're good. I mean, I don't use them, but I like the idea of them. Oh, look at him. He looks vintage. He looks like an original something something. I wonder what year it is. Sorry about the Rudolph booty. I'm trying to see if there's a year on here. Because depending on whether it's super old or not, I might take it. Ooh, this is a nice one. It's bigger than the one I have. Oh, a little pee pee, but that can be washed. Do I want this? Because Martin is pretty big. Look at this vintage magazine. Life magazine. Oh, this stuff is so cool. Hmm. That is so neat. Ooh, shelving unit. Uh, I wonder if it's complete. It's a whole shelving system. Look at this gorgeous hammered brass lamp, but I don't have any use for it. It's so pretty. This is an amazing price on this table set. Like for a DIYer to refinish, reupholster, that's a nice hunk of furniture. Don't judge me, but I love this wannabe leopard print chair. This is neat looking. 
this fake leather wrap drawer. Oops. Well, okay. Well, there's the hardware. Is this for weights? To hold the weights? 707? That's an amazing price if that's what this thing is. I have a two-gallon fish tank similar to this that I'm getting ready for our future fishy. And this at $15 is an amazing size, but I think it was used for a hamster. Look at the little thingy stuck on the side right there. I love these. I think they're so pretty. I can already imagine it filled with like a agua fresca, but 17 bucks with no top. Those are cute. Oh my gosh, one of these bakeware roaster clay doohickeys. I have one of these. Wow, six bucks. That is good, good price for that. My old nostalgic cart loves a nice wall pocket. This is so pretty. <gasps> Three bucks. Uh, I don't have anywhere for it though. It is so pretty. Mm -mm -mm, this is beautiful. Look at this brass etched face. $3.93. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. Y'all know I love brass. The Christmas one, he dances, right? Yeah. Ooh, looky, looky. I do believe this is a Nordic bunt pan. What the heck? What is this? Why is there two? Are these supposed to have lids? Why do I think they're supposed to have like a plastic lid? Am I remembering correctly? They have some bigger ones on the other shelf, but they are lidless. Do you guys know if these are supposed to have lids? I always get so excited when I come across these that are not all rusty and decrepit. This is only $1.91 and it looks amazing. I do pressed tea in this instead of coffee. Bless my Texan heart. Uh, yeah, no. Ooh, what the heck? Is this handmade? Is this a clay accident? 202? I love this. I need this. Now, ain't this the truth? I love this. Look at this beautiful little rooster lamp. I wonder if it works. 595. Uh, I'm tempted. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Well, he has a little busted tail feather, and I know my OCD is not going to be okay with that. But man, I bet it is so pretty lit. Yeah, but that's going to bug me. What a perfect little cross for my gallery. This is so perfect. A little expensive, but I think I might. Because haters are going to hate. This is hilarious. I need to see what's in here. This is such a southern saying. It's a cup. Look at this. I'm fixing to. If you're from the south, you probably utter this once a day, maybe more. But I'm cheap and I ain't doing no 707. Oh, but it was $24.95. Still though, nah. These bottles are so stinking cool. The design and all the little decoration. I wonder what this was. 202. Mm. Look at the metal on the bottom. Okay. So. The little bottom needs to be put back in place. But I could not resist this hammered lovely lamp. I know I want to use it in the house and I know I'm going to replace something in my big dude's bedroom because this color and this style will go well in there. So I'm going to replace one of the lamps in there with this one just so I can 
use it. And I think the lampshade that I have attached to that lamp in there is going to work well with this. So I'm going to use that. This one, you guys, I couldn't. I got so excited when I saw it. And it's dusty and it needs to be cleaned. This is a recycled glass little lamp. And it has one of these um, flippy switches. I hope it works. I tried to try it out, but I don't know. Um, I didn't know where the outlets were there. So I hope it works. It came with a bulb. The bulb doesn't shake. Do y'all do that? Or is that just something I was raised with where you shake a bulb to see if you hear any clinking? If you hear clinking, then you know the works inside are burnt out and busted. But if you don't hear clinking, it's a good bulb. So there's no clinking in it. Do, do y'all do that? Is that is that something that we just know to do? But uh, it came with a light bulb. I'm sure I have a lovely shade in the garage for it. Stinking pretty. This is actually going to replace the lamp on my desk here in the living room. I'm going to put that one there. I think it's going to be really, really pretty. And granted, you know, mostly everything in there is kind of blue. But I like it. I love it. Who says I have to do matchy-matchy? I just think it's going to be really cute and a perfect size for that desk. But it yeah, has that recycled glass, like that Coca-Cola, that old-timey Coca-Cola glass. I like that. So grab that. <laughs> I'm a fan of this guy, but I know somebody else will be a fan of this guy. And I'm going to wash this up and see if I can find a fan. Look at this James Franco backpack, you guys. It's a little slingback backpack, and it's in pretty darn good condition. Um, I'm going to see if I can take the liner out of the bottom and then throw it in the washer and get it nice and clean. I just thought it was a trip. It reminded me of that Nicolas Cage um, pillowcase that I found at a Black Friday. I just think it's hilarious. Like I said, I am a fan of his acting, but eh, I couldn't leave that behind. I did grab this. This is way bigger than the ones that I had for Ozzy and Martin. The ones that I had for Ozzy and Martin, they fit in pretty okay, but could have been a little bigger. And Martin's a big boy, okay? Martin is a big boy, so I went ahead and got this. It's missing the straps to put over your shoulder, but it's okay because I have straps that uh, will work with this. Um, and it's a Sherpa. It has a little Sherpa. Oh, hello. It has a little Sherpa mat in there. So that's going to get washed and sanitized, and I'm going to get this all cleaned up and get rid of the strange cat smell foreign cat stranger cat stranger danger cat smell and see if uh, martin will be more comfortable in this on his trips to the vet um isn't this adorable i wish it was a different sauce like the buffalo or something but i had actually tossed it Cause I wasn't sure what it was, and then I saw the honey mustard. I'm like, holy snot burgers! It's a freaking chicken nugget, and little dude is all about a chicken nugget. But it looked kind of, is it a girl nugget? Is it a boy nugget? I don't know. So I threw it back, and then I grabbed it again, and I asked him if he wanted it. He's like, yeah, that's it. He you know goes, yeah, why not? So little nugget's gonna go in the washer as well. I haven't bought a teacup and saucer in quite a long time because. I don't need any more. The ones I have, I do use. I am so bougie, guys. I get in these moods where I want to have my little dainty cup with tea or coffee in it. And it's just what I do. I hadn't bought one in a long time, but look at this gorgeousness. Look at that silver, that silver inlay. Not one chip, not one crack. And these were in the bins, guys. Friggin' pristine. I better hush because every time I go gaga over something, my clumsy self drops it. It's a Royal Albert Bone China from England. Just gorgeous. I was like, mm-mm. My inner bougie kicked in, and I was like, I gotta have it. So I grabbed that. Found a pie plate, the crate and barrel pie plate, just because it's pretty. And I love this kind of thing on the table when, when you're making dinner. Hello, Martin. Martination. I gotta wash these really, really well, duh, of course. But I liked the size of this. It's a 13 by 9. Um, Wilson. Wilson. Did I say Wilson? Like the soccer ball? Wilton. Cake pan. 
it's in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of something on it. Um, hopefully I can get all that crust off of it. Uh, I use parchment paper anyway, so even if I can't get this stuff off where I feel safe, I just do parchment anyway. So I just thought it was really, really nice. Nice and sturdy cake pan. And then this thing. I like this. It's a KitchenAid. I need to Google what the heck it is and why it's in this design. Do you guys know what this is? See how it, see how it kind of like slopes down? What is this? You know what this reminded me of? Back in the day, my grandma, yeah, she used to get the corn and it was, it looked, it was a type of device like this. And she used to do her little corn kernels and she had this thing. She had this, we called it a palote. This, oh, this wood thingy that she would grind the little corn with and it would end up making a masa. And that's what this reminded me of, but I know that's not what it is. But why does this cookie sheet slope like that? Is it to drip off grease? Is it a baking pan? And what's it for? Anybody know? I shall Google. But figured before I Google, maybe some of you guys know that I got that. And I, I cannot pass up um, kitchen things in the bins. It's just, I just love them. I love them so much. But I think that's everything from the bins. Mm -hmm. Then we went into the store, y'all saw. And I had a basket full of stuff, guys. A basket full of stuff. And I was so upset because it's hard for me to put things back. Not real, real hard, but I'd rather not have to set myself aside and sort and do all that. But I had a basket full of really neat things. <sighs> so I did end up putting a lot of it back. A um, couple things that weren't perfect. A couple things that I knew I was going to notice a mark or, or a chip or whatever on. A couple of things that I just didn't have an immediate use for or an immediate place for or I wasn't willing to trade out something in the house for that item. So I put some stuff back. But I did keep these things. I did keep the funny dish. I put this back like three times, guys. And the colors kept drawing me back. The colors, just the way it looks. And then the price. Are you stinking kidding me? I don't know what this is. I don't even know if it's food safe. I don't know if you can set fruit in it, which is what I was thinking about doing. Or nuts in a little nutcracker or something. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's food safe. I'm going to Google this as well. It looks like maybe something handmade, but it's marked with a number on it. Who knows? But yeah, the colors, guys. The colors kept calling me back to this. I think it's so pretty. It reminds me of a seashell, like an abalone or something. I had to have it. So I went ahead and got that little booty here. Booty? That little buddy here. This thing was too stinking cute not to try, okay? I had to have... Mm, I had to have this cake pan. Are you stinking kidding me? I am totally going to make a pumpkin cake. And um, what is this? It's the Nordic. It's Nordic wear. And I know this ain't cheap, okay? I know the Nordic isn't cheap. I have a few Nordic wear uh, cake pans, beautiful designed ones I have yet to use because if I want to bake, I want to do something like homemade, like from the get go, like this, the, the flour and the this and the that. And I ain't about that life. I'm about a cake mix life. So I'm like, well, it's not really going to be good enough for one of these fancy pretty little molds so i haven't done it i just need to bite the bullet get me some duncan friggin heinz and make me one of these gorgeous cakes but beautiful molds that i've thrifted that i've showed you guys but i thought this was stinking adorable and instead of a pumpkin because i can't do uh food dyes like for uh orange icing i can't do um food dyes so I'm trying to see if I can do some kind of chocolate on the outside and make it look kind of like a gourd. Because when I saw this, I'm like, I don't want a pumpkin cake, but what about a spice cake, okay? A spice cake and in the middle, like um, 
like spiced apple pie filling, like the layer, and then covered, and then some kind of spicy, delicious frosting, uh, kind of brown, maybe make it look like some kind of gourd or something. I'm not sure. Kitty's over there sneezing too. Jeez. But anyway, this is $5.95 and I think it's absolutely worth it because like I said, these things are not freaking cheap. And the only other thing that I purchased, I could not leave it behind, guys. I already have one, but mine is much smaller. No way I was leaving this sucker behind. I still don't know how to pronounce it. Romertoff. Romertoff. I don't know. I have one that's way more seasoned than this one. So this one's going to take some seasoning you guys are you freaking kidding me these things also these are not cheap even on etsy and and like ebay and stuff they're selling still for like 50 60 bucks and they're like 100 and over depending on the size this is only 606 and like i said it's not very seasoned yet because these get darker than when you use them the only thing with these it kind of sucks and if you don't remember to soak them before you use them you're gonna crack your crap you're gonna crack your pots uh, that's the only thing that that's a mistake i almost made when i've used my i know now but the first time i tried to use it i didn't know anything about the one that i had originally i just thought it was freaking cool and i had heard about how amazing roasting in clay is right i'm mexican my people been cooking in clay forever um but i didn't know and not all of them like um who was that other guy the pamper chef you don't have to soak uh most of his stoneware the newer stuff i don't think you have to soak pampered chef um i'm not sure i don't think so i've never done it but these you do and some of this stuff you have to and i almost i remember the first time i used it i didn't know you were supposed to soak it so i had my little chicken and all its fixings ready um i had scrubbed out the pot and everything and i put all my meat in it and then i was like well how high will something like this take it and that's when i googled and i realized you idiot you have to soak it before you use it but i'm sorry guys look look how big this is no way no way i'm leaving it behind and the other one fit a nice little fryer a little fryer chicken this might do a hunk of meat like a small roast or something mm, delicious but that is everything that i picked up at the store that could not leave behind so i grabbed that and then i have some thrift town things over here and I kept telling the little dude, are you sure this is all I got at Thrift Town? He's like, mm-hmm. Oh, and I have Thrift Mart. So at Thrift Town, y'all know he loves this stuff. He He's adorable. Uh, he was $1.49. He needs to go in the wash. And then I had just been seeing how these kids going back to school are, like kids who have parents in their 40s and 50s, are somehow gravitating towards and finding pictures of their parents and maybe even finding things in their parents' closets that they love, like the vintage, um, okay, not a vintage, what's the, what's the word? Retro. They're coming across these retro fashions that their parents held on to or coming across pictures and they're like, oh my gosh. And one of the things that these kids had pulled out of was the Jansport, the 80s Jansport um, backpacks. And Jansport still sells backpacks, but in particular, the 80s ones that parents had held on to, their kids were starting to use. And the, 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 the retro style and the retro print and all that was what got everybody going. And I don't know if this is retro or not, but I thought it was funny that I had just read um, an article about Jansport in particular. And here's a little Jansport uh, backpack. So stinking cute. Look at the pretty flowers on it, guys. This is so pretty. Now this, I spent way more than I usually do, but I had put so much stuff back and I just liked it. I love the flowers. This is perfect for overnights when we spend the night at my sister. It's just adorable. And I didn't find anything else really. Uh, so I paid $8.49 for it. I did, I know, right? But it's in such great condition. It just needs to be spray and washed and thrown in the wash. And there's actually a dime in the pocket. I found a dime. So then this was actually $8.39, not $8.49. But I just really like it. I really like it. We used to do the Jansport and the Trapper Keepers, um, the Jelly Shoes, Swatches. We had Swatches. Uh, well, I didn't have the swatch because we were poor. 
we had the fake swatches that you would get like at the flea markets or you would get at TGNY, the five and dimes and stuff. They were they were like the fakey. They were the the faux. But I did have a trapper keeper. Um what else? And the Gen Sport. We had the Gen Sport um backpacks. But anywho, and the last thing only because I forgot that they were here. Uh I apparently picked up some things at Thrift Mart. Oi. A flower pot. They have these at Walmart for eight dollars, I think. I think these are eight dollars at Walmart. And this was three. Three ninety-three. And I'm gonna put my uh new um mango seedlings in it. I'm gonna start some more mango seedlings because the one I had out there fried, poor baby. Poor baby, it just fried. Everything's frying out there. I found Juanita Bynum, my spiritual inheritance. I love Juanita Bynum. I've been watching her, following her, listening to her. I used to love her preaching back in the 90s, early 2000s, when her and Creflo Dollar and T.G. Jakes and all them were on TV. I mean, they're still on TV. But I was uh, particularly moved by her i really liked her and joyce meyer joyce meyer was another one i really liked Juanita by them so i saw hey walking in your destiny and she has a history because i was just flipping through here just a little bit i didn't know she came from where she came and came through what she came through i mean i knew there must have been something there for somebody this connected you know to god but i just from flipping through the pages i'm like ooh, i didn't read that so she's so gorgeous so I got Juanita Bynum, it was $1.21. And then I found The Lost Daughter, a memoir. Uh, this lady here ends up, I don't know if she was adopted by Jane Fonda, like legally, or if she just brought her into her home and she became like her daughter. Uh, you know, your daughter, you don't gotta be born of, I don't, like, but like I said, I don't know if she legally adopted her or if she just brought her in as a daughter into her family, but, um, I didn't know, I didn't know this about Jane Fonda, I didn't know she had a daughter, I didn't know she had an adopted daughter or, a, or, or, a, or, a, a, you know, an a, adopted, like, a, you're my baby now kind of daughter, I had no idea, um, so, I thought that would be a good read. And I thought it was a little strange that this one was a little more expensive than that one. But it was $191. And this is for Martin. We have found that the soft, particularly squishy ones that are kind of big, he likes to grab and do the back the back leg kick with. Um, so we thought this would be good for him. So he's going to be washed too. And I think, what was this? Yeah, $1.91. So... Even he's in on the stuffy of it all. But that's everything, guys. That is everything that we got ourselves into this weekend. It was an okay weekend after uh, that Friday disaster mess out there. I still have a pile of debris out in the patio that I'm, I'm, not, I'm not picking up. There's wasps everywhere, guys. There's wasps everywhere. Just this morning, I went out there to water my babies and check on them. Because I had to clip limbs that got broken and stuff. I just want to make sure that they're not all shocked uh, and died on me. Um, there's a lot to do back there, but it's too friggin' hot, and there's wasps everywhere, guys, everywhere. I haven't, I hadn't seen any wasp nests until this morning, so there's this one limb that's still stuck on the fence that I cut, but part of it was still stuck on the fence. So I tried to move it, and I couldn't quite lift it up high enough to move it, and I was like, oh, this is so frustrating, and I kept trying, kept trying, kept trying, and I could not get it off. So I'm like, well, I'm going to use the rake. You want, you want, guys, everything happens for a reason. And God is watching, and I'm allergic, okay? I'm allergic. And I was getting so frustrated that I couldn't quite get that limb up over that fence bar so I could fling it over onto the pile of the rest of the limbs and stuff that I'm like, you know what? I'm going to use, I'm going to use the rake. I'll use the rake, and that'll give me a little extra bit of, you know, length and knock it off. So I'm over there with the rake and I can't quite reach comfortably without my back hurting to get the rake in the position I need it. I tried it twice and I couldn't get comfortable enough and the rake dropped on the bush and this swarm of wasps started flying around, started buzzing. Thankfully it's high up on the wall. Y'all saw how the, the fence is up high up on the retaining wall. 
that they weren't all up in my face, but they were, they swarmed. I'm like, <gasps> there was a bee, a, a nest in that limb that I've been wrestling with for about five minutes. And they just, you could hear them. I'm like, oh, I'm going to die. I'm allergic. My first thought is run inside, stupid. But are you supposed to run from wasps or is it hornets? Which is the one you're not supposed to run from. I know you're not supposed to swat at any of them. But I went into panic mode like, oh, I'm going to die. They're, they're just everywhere. They're above me. I'm like, oh, my, what do I do? What do I do? So I turned and I grabbed my wasp spray. I have wasp spray scattered all everywhere in my yard. Front, back, side, everywhere. So I'm like... I may not make it in the house, but my spray is right there. So I ran in the spray, just a few steps, grabbed my spray, and I just, I looked, and I started spraying. And they, I got some in the air, whatever. I just started spraying, and they scattered, and then I saw the nest, and I sprayed the heck out of the nest, and just kind of stood still like, I'm going to die. Um, but no, they, they didn't mess with me. I could hear them zoom. I heard one zoom by me, probably wanted to sting me. I don't know. Um... And then there was, once it all calmed down and everything, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's why God's divine intervention saving me again. I, he must be so over me, you guys. He must be like, oh, now what? He must be so over me at this point. <laughs> oh, he must be so over me. Okay, but um, I think, I believe, it was divine intervention that I didn't actually pull it and fling it onto the pile because then it would have been right here. They would have they would have got me. <sighs> so while I'm doing all that, I did I saw another wasp nest. I didn't see any bees around there, but mind you, I sprayed like crazy all in the area. In one of my birds, my bird cages, the little white bird cages I have out there, I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, needless to say, I didn't put her around doing much of nothing out there. And the weather this morning was pretty okay to have done something out there. But nah, I ain't messing around with them things. I haven't got stung yet. Toca madera, knock on wood. Phrase of the day, toca madera, knock on wood. Um, I haven't gotten stung yet. None of us have been stung yet, and I want to keep it that way. But anywho, that's everything, you guys. Oh, for anybody who's going to ask, because I know you were already asking. Yes, my back was hurting um, that Friday, and I'm still having those familiar little twinges. Uh, I go to pain management follow-up on Thursday, and I'll let them know, I fell down the stairs, dude. I fell down the stairs, and uh, the very next week, I started having familiar twinges. So let's see what he says. Uh, but that's everything. I'm going to go ahead and scrub what I got to scrub, wash what I got to wash, put up what I got to put up swap out what i'm gonna swap out and um get ready to make some dinner here in a few hours it's still kind of early but um till my next go around i hope you guys have had a really good monday i hope you guys are gonna have a good week stay cool you guys this friggin heat is ridiculous stay cool wherever you are stay safe wherever you are be good um tell everybody you love them that you love them because you never know and until my next go around, I love y'all bunches. Bye. You guys, I forgot to show you guys this. This is another one of my finds. Uh, I gave it a rinse. I need to do a good scrub on it. But it's one of these, I think it's Rubbermaid uh, plastic shelving units. And all the legs came with it. I was so surprised that all the legs um were in the bin but i got all of them this is going to come in so handy in the garage uh once it cools down we've decided that we're going to go in there and do a clean sweep maybe garage sale i don't know i keep saying that but it's just so much easier to put everything on the curb and put it on facebook free grab for all and have people come and basically clean your garage for you but yeah there's seven shelves uh and all the little the little uh brackets are in there so i thought this is amazing this is what i was most excited about and i can't believe i forgot about it but out of sight out of mind like i said i want to give it a good scrub down but uh yeah this is what i was most excited about because it's complete also i did find one more little thing inside that i didn't show y'all okay this little box of goodies um slid under everything now i kept finding these random little hooks see the pretty little rhinestone-y I think they're all the same style yeah they're all the same style and what they are I believe 
Y'all heard me say I'm like a magpie. If it shimmers and shines, I want it. I think these are um, ear cuffs because they have the back of an earring. See? They have an earring back. So I'm trying to figure, I think it's a ear cuff. I think. Let's find out. Oh, well, I'm glad they're in plastic. You know what? I didn't even sanitize this. I didn't even peroxide this thing and I'm sticking it in my ear. I mean, they were in plastic. Yeah, that's what it is. It's an ear cuff. So it goes through your little piercing. Mueve the pelo. Okay, guys. I had to finagle it a little bit. Get my greñas out of the way. I need to dye my hair. <laughs> look at all the gray. But anyway, I think this is what it's supposed to look like. But look, there's so many of them. And I just kept picking them up. And I'm thinking, these might be good for somebody. Somebody might want some of these. I don't know. Watch out, take. Because you get two, one for each ear. Did I just show you all my Yosemite? My Yosemite. If I didn't keep up with my fuzzy, I swear I would be Yosemite friggin' Sam. Anywho, that's everything. Guys, I promise this video will eventually end, but as I was sorting things and putting things away, I found something that fell under the table. From the bins, this little pouch, I'm assuming is a toiletry bag for a dude. That's what I think it is. And that's how I'm going to present it to my big dude. He could keep a little more control of his things either on the bathroom counter or his dresser. Just gave me kind of neat vibes. I think that's what it is. I don't know. But I have looked high and low, up and down, round and round, here and there, everywhere. And I don't think I have anything else. Nothing else. <laughs>